All right. We came up here to do some uh, work on some of our bait piles and stuff. The reason we do that, we, we trap some here. We trap some at, some at some of our properties. We don't trap at all of them. Um, like this, this is our hunt club. And we, we'll run some traps, but we don't trap super heavy right here, just at certain times. Um, so today we, and we also, we, today we decided to bring these pups. I've had quite a few people ask us about, you know, training, uh, nutrition, what is it? exercise, what kind of regimen we use for that. So we're going to start including this as well. I mean, we've talked about a little bit of it uh, on our podcast, but not, not a lot of people get real in depth about it. So what we have today, we got a variation of, of black mouth cur dogs. Uh, and I think we got, did you bring uh, Willow? Mm -mm. Oh, y'all didn't bring Willow. Okay. So I got, how many we got? Seven. Seven. I don't even know how many we got, y'all. That's bad, ain't it? I still got four little puppies at the house. Then those are Mountain Cur, Catahoula Cur Cross. Then I've got three more Black Mouth Camera something crosses. And then I've got one or two more Mountain Curs as well. Uh, the pain, the, the headache is the part that people don't want to deal with as far as training. We're not going hunting. I mean, they, they could be hogs right there, and if they find a hog, that's great. But it's just, some of these, I think we've carried all of them in the box one time. And so now what we're doing, we got the collars on them. We got them to where they get them in and out of the truck. So now they want to come out. Parker, will you call Come on here, come on here, come on here. Come on here. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, shut that door up there. Come on here, come on here, come on here. They're gonna go whichever way they wanna go for sure. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go here, come on. Every one of them got out of the truck, so we're doing good. Come on. Come on, puppy. So basically what we do is just take them walking for a little bit, get them used to, to running in, to get the pack mentality down. Well, figure out which ones want to really go hunt and which ones don't. Turn around and look at that one. See, that's what we want to see. We want to see his nose on the ground, tail up and down. All right, come on, let's go this way. Come on here, come on here. Come on here. They're going to keep going back to Logan and Parker probably. So. Either way. Come on, puppies. Let's go. Come on. It's okay. Y'all get out there and go hunt. So what you want to do is you can't you can't let them jump up on you too much. You gotta you can't have too strong a hand, but you gotta let them know that it's not just playtime, even though it is in a sense. Uh, they gotta know that this is their job, you know. Some, some of these really want a lot of attention and it's mainly because they don't get a lot of attention. Like I said, some people work on loading, walking on leases and handling and all that stuff before they really hunt the dog or, or before they do this with it, before they see if it's what they want. Get down. Myself, I like to see if I'm if this is the dog that I want before I put in all that other time. And it might not be the same as as you do. That doesn't mean that it's right or wrong either way. It's just what works for me. Uh, we'll do this just a, a couple of times. Uh, I don't necessarily let them go with an older dog every time. We went a time or two. We don't take no older dogs. And we just let the young dogs do their thing. We let them figure it out. Nate's pup Eminem. He's, he's fairly close to their, their age. But we kind of let him just do his own thing and give him more one-on-one -on -one than we have these so far. And it's really worked. So now we're going to start doing that with these. These pups here, over the next course of the next two months, uh, 
we're going to try to keep y'all up to date on exactly what we're doing. And we're going to show the good, the bad, and the ugly. And hopefully we'll show the, the best parts of it when it really clicks and they start hunting. And they do all this stuff because they want to. I like a dog that'll hunt for itself and hunt for, for me too. But not all dogs are like that. These old lanky built cur dogs, they can, uh, come on. All right, we got that one right there. He looks like he's bony as everything. Ain't nothing wrong with that dog. He's in good shape. They stay, they hunt. I mean, they, they run all the time. They're walked every day. They get out and now they've got time put in them. We just got to get muscle built up now. So that's where we're going to come into that nutrition part we were talking about. And we're going to let y'all know. And you're going to see the change in the way the dog's body is. You're going to see how much it changes. Now let's you want to stop and see if they go? See now, let's see what they're doing. Don't ever set the range on your dogs unless you want a shorter range dog. Let them go. You know, if they want to keep running, we let them run. And as long as they ain't getting no trouble. Sometimes even when they get in trouble, we let them run. So, but they checking on out right now. How far are they going? Fifty yards. Hundred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a hundred. A little over a hundred. What's showing? Are they still going? Here they come back. That's one of them. Okay, so at that time right there, are they still going? I lost signal with two of them. I think the oh. callers might have died. Okay, we need to pick up. About 170, 180. Okay, well, we need to pick up which two we're leading at. Get down. Uh, Jug, Turd, and Jane. Like well, I on, said, I don't know where. And Humpty. I think Humpty's leading it. And Humpty well, is? Yeah, Humpty and Henry, I think. Okay, well, H Henry is pure bay pen stock. Humpty, I got from. Uh, the Jeff Coats, they come out of some of Pat Lewis stock and their stock. I think it was across from there. Okay, so we got we got pups out here. That's one of the uh, yeah. That's one of the dogs I'm not picking up right there. Yeah, that's fine. That, is that that little female? Yeah. Get down. She's the one that kept doing that. It's both yeah. of them. Kate. Yeah. Now Jane went out. She's good. Get down. Y'all better get down. We'll put the button on you. Uh, jug is a hundred. There we go. Nate, I'm quit worrying about that video over here so we get something coming through the woods, mate. It's getting dark. No, there goes. I think it's turd. Oh, here we all come back. Okay. I don't know which one was yipping, turd. I think it was turd. Turd, you gotta quit that yipping. Hey, no yipping. No yipping on track. Any of them still out? Four, four, five, six. There's six right there. Where's Humpty? Humpty's gone hunting, buddy. No, Humpty's right there. There's four. It's Henry. Five. That's Henry right there. He, he just came back. Just make sure we got seven. We ain't got the six. How I many you got? Four or five, yeah, just six. Is that one stay up there with Logan? I don't know. Look on your garment. See what you got. There you come. That's that youngest, that smaller girl. Dirty. Dog. That's the one we was talking about being bony a while ago. He can stay bony if he stays out and hunt. That's good. Okay. All right, easy, dirty. That's good, that's good. Good puppy, good puppy, good puppy. Hey, hey. Quit that. Stop aggravating. That's Humpty, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, that's Humpty. Pop him. He's trying to catch your ears constantly, acting like an idiot. Yeah. Come on. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. Get up See, they're just, they're, they're cutting up and playing right now, like I said. It's, this is more socialization to the environment that we're going to be keeping them in. 
it, it's more socialization to that than or introduction should I say uh, well it's socialization with the other dogs as well and with humans and with with getting in and out of the trucks with with riding in the boxes for 30 minutes which we, we do a what's it about 35 40 minutes up here first that's our uh, so we start with that, those kind of drives and then we'll we'll graduate to the, the hour and a half two hours where we got to go hunt uh, and just keep working with them like that so uh, so far that's 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 about all I can can really put out on on this right now, because setting them up for success on a hunt is totally different than what we're doing now. On a hunt, what I do is like today's world is totally different. Where we live at is totally different. Um, you can't have live hogs number one, so we can't do mock hunts and things like that. Training is hard. So what we do, of course, we now we run the cell cams and. We'll wait till we, that's why we got our bait piles uh, all doped up and ready to go. So now maybe when the cameras go off and we know we got a group in, uh, if we see a, you know a sow with some pigs or some smaller pigs, 150 or less, nothing with big teeth, I feel com comfortable putting them out there, and I feel, you know, I feel that they're more safe than just getting shit wrecked on a big old boar hog they run up on basically trying to do the homework and have a game plan to set them up for success. Uh, we've got several more puppies. As I said before, we've been in this a long time and we, we kind of stayed low key. Now we're stepping it up. Nate's done with college. And I know y'all have noticed that we've got a lot more videos, podcasts and everything's coming out more and more and more and more. It's going to get even more than that. And, uh, you know, with, with stuff like this, y'all let us know what else that we can do to, to keep you interested and uh, to be informative as well. It's not just about us going to the bay pens or just about the store all the time. It's not just about turning loose and catching a big old boar hog with dogs that's 10 years old. You know, it's it's about keeping that 10 year old dog alive, keeping him healthy, keeping him safe. Uh, same thing with a 10 month old. And, and that's what a lot of people run into. Like I said, you see a dog like we got right there, a pup. Uh, some of these are about seven months old, six, seven months old. And I know there's got, I think one of them, a couple, no, they, some of them's about nine, right at nine months. Was M and M younger or older than him? I think he was older. Yeah, so M's what, nine? He's going on 10. Okay, so these are about eight months, seven, eight months old, some of them. Uh, some of you guys out there, y'all have dogs that are finding hogs at that age, and that's great. I wait and let mine mature. It's just what I do. It works for me a little better. Hey, honey, right, quit. Right. Y'all quit. Oh, Jug stayed out the whole time, didn't he? I think All so. Right. All right. Which Jug's been out before. He's yeah, this, this is his second time hunting. Hey, right. hey, right. 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 stop it. Henry. I think he's just playing. Yeah, they just play. <laughs> Come on, let's go this way. So I can't do this too much on this. Yeah, that's anymore. good. Okay, so we're, we're going to cut it off. Hey, damn it, stop now. That's that bay pen stuff wanting to get bark. So, anyway, maybe they'll bark at a pig one of these days. We're going to continue to do this, bring out more videos. Thank y'all.